Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're coming to you with the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in our industry. I'm Barb Mitchell from JSA. Pleased to be joined here with uh, Nabil Mahmoud and <laughs> I told you, Philip and Philip Koblenz. We got those right? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Thought, yeah. perfect. Great, great uh, effort. Co <laughs> co founders and CEOs of Nomad Futurist. Great to have you. We're uh, we're excited because we're you know have just uh, recently partnered with you and and we're excited to share with our audience everything that that you're busy doing that Nomad Futurist could just start at the beginning. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so it's actually kind of interesting. The birth of Nomad Futurist initiative really started out in Hawaii. Uh, I get to uh, be the lucky one to live over here, um, and uh, the idea really was that uh, we've identified a significant human capital deficit and the age gap in our sector. Uh, some of the numbers that uh, when we started the whole initiative uh, were roughly around the fact that you've got 42 to 43 percent of the existing workforce that's been in the space for about 25 plus years, which means that there would be a retirement party every day of the week within five years time frame, and we're not back pushing the talent pool. And there isn't enough people coming into the space, not something that we talk about at dinner tables with grandmas and moms and dad, right? right. Um, and the industry is growing crazy. Uh, so Phil and I, uh, sitting out actually here at Tropics, uh, you know, decided that we were going to launch uh, a podcast platform with the whole idea of demystifying technology for the younger generation, sharing the trials and tribulations of other executives in the space and encourage them to come into this place and simplify it to the degree that they can connect with it. And that has resulted in to creating a, uh, a non-profit of 501c3. And uh, our goal is to inspire the younger generation, uh, get them excited about this space, and address the human capital deficit by providing an educational platform, scholarships, internships, and job placements. So the nexus, the nexus of it really was, uh, in a non-commercial way, to share the stories of all of kind of our generation of executives in our space that, you know, fell into it just happened to be because of the time that, that where they were in their professional career just you know happenstance um fell into our industry it's not something that they planned you know when right. they were kids so the hopes were on the podcast side that the stories their backgrounds would resonate with uh, with the younger generation mm -hmm. and that has really kind of dovetailed to us founding um uh the the nomad futurist foundation with the goal of that spark that magic that we had when we got into this industry in the late 90s and early 2000s yeah. because we happened to be you know one of the last generations that straddled the before digital times and now we want to try to convey that magic to a generation that grew up in an era where that you know they've had an iphone in their hands since they were born that's right. their that's their primary nanny yeah. at least it is in in my house <laughs> right. sorry honey um, yeah. So, you know, I think our goal is to try to rekindle that magic and, and, and explore the wonder of our just crazy, right. topsy-turvy, amazing industry right. um, to plant those seeds um, at, a, at a really young level, you know, K through 12. Mm -hmm. um, is, is one of our major focuses. Yeah, and, and connecting the experience that they're having really growing up with this industry in a personal way to the possibilities that could exist for them. No doubt. They all know how, how technology works because they've been using yeah. it for so long. What they don't know because there's no way for them to know is why it all works. So as technically adept as our children are, yeah. when something goes wrong, when the internet goes down, when the power goes out, they turn into Neanderthals, right. you know, just banging, banging the tables, <laughs> right? Banging their so it's, we all it, relate you know, to that. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, love to hear, I, I'm actually really happy that we're sort of, it's the final day here of PTC. It's nice to be ending with this conversation actually actually, because over the past few days, a few topics always come up at every show, right? It's, of course, AI, it's sustainability, but the, but the third big one is exactly what you're talking about. You know, what, how are we filling the age gap in the industry? And it, it's, so the work that's being done here is so important. Um, and, it, you know, it's nice to be seeing some of these initiatives. So on that note, you know, I mean, I think you talked a little bit about, I don't know if you want to expand any more on how you're able to leverage you you said you've been around this industry for a long time you know and 27 you about, plus years yeah well and so a lot of people come here and they've been this is you know their 15th ptc right. or they're something they're pointing to which palm tree they planted when they first came to their ptc yeah. and it's now some giant <laughs> right yeah, exactly <laughs> and then yet there's this new crop of talent coming up still just ready to explore so how are you able to pass that 
pass on your wisdom to yeah, the younger generation. I think, generation. I think one of the things that we've been focused on is not just coming to industry conferences and talking to our own audience about it, but really trying to create a program, um, an initiative that gets us in front of kids, gets us in into high schools to do presentations about yeah. what we're doing. We did one, and this just started right uh, at the end of last year. We were finally able to get into a school in uh, in Mountain View, Los Altos School District, right in the uh, Silicon Valley area. Yeah. And, you know, we had one of our partners, like, bring a cabinet full of servers. We had we put a panel together with someone from Netflix, someone from TikTok, so they yeah. can contextualize the apps that they use, along with someone from Aligned and someone from Stack on the sales and on the construction side, so that mm -hmm. we can just give them kind of a bird's eye view and connect what they're doing on a, on a daily basis with the people that that make that happen. And yeah. later this year, we're going to present to an act like a teacher's conference about the availability of our initiative to get in front of those right. schools. So we're trying to, to bring this not just to an audience where we're preaching to the choir, but to kids where they're, they're really going to be impacted and, and see something that they never knew existed before. Yeah. And tell us more about this. I know that there's, in addition to what you're describing, you have programs targeted, I believe, at underprivileged uh, communities and, you know, helping to support diversity and inclusion. Talk about what some of those programs look like. Yeah, so, I mean, we actually did one last year in the Bahamas. We funded roughly about 40 students, um, and it really came through another partner uh, that was trying to set up an educational platform uh, out there. So, I mean, stepping back a bit, um, you know, as you can tell, we are, you know, Step brothers, uh, no, I don't know. I mean, I, we are wearing the same shirt today, so I don't know if you can tell us apart. I'm Phil, and this is Nabil, exactly. But we get confused all the time. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that we really talk about, it, you know, is the fact that we are all made of the equal parts, right? So uh, that should be muscle memory. It doesn't matter if you're man, woman. Uh, your color shouldn't really define you. Your race shouldn't define you. Your religion and beliefs shouldn't define you. you. Should all be given equal opportunity. And a lot of people uh, don't get that opportunity. We are certainly the fortunate ones that fell into the space purely by an accident. And if you if you really look around the room over here as well and, and, and the sector, it's like roughly about 95, 96% of the people have actually fallen into the space purely by an accident. Nobody really went to college for it, right. yet we defined that sector. So our vision is to go to the secondary markets, uh, the emerging markets, and give those kids an opportunity that there is something besides just the conventional you know, banking or retail and other uh, sectors that they exist that they can actually get into space and contribute. And to really show them people that look like them, that talk like them, that came from similar backgrounds, because that's how they contextualize it. That's how this you see that spark moment. When we did the, the event in MVLA, we followed it up with, you know, 50 or 60 students on a tour of a local data center that's one of our partners. And they met, like, the, the person that runs the site, um, and uh, and he was from the Hispanic community, similar to them, and that's where they had this aha moment, where someone that looks like me, that 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 speaks Talks like, like me, me, that's that's, right. that's part of my community, um, does this also. So that's when it becomes real. So the more we can be that connective tissue to the people that that run our world, and you know the yeah. the kids out there that don't know it exists, that don't know that this is a path for them, right. I think the better we're going to be positioned to solve our problems, not next quarter or next year, but into the future as we you know need to eventually retire. And guys, come on, yeah. how long can I do this? <laughs> yeah, I mean you're taking it from an idea to an understanding to an inspiration to a possibility, right? And and taking them on that path, that's it's great. And I think that what you're doing aligns so nicely to what we already said needs to be uh, addressed in the industry, but it also aligns to a lot of the, the companies that exist here and, and the uh, priorities that they have. So for those companies, if they want to get involved with this, how can they do that? Well, it's very simple. Uh, you know, reach out to Phil or myself or the rest of the team. You can find us at nomadfuturist.org. Or and the 17,000 selfies that we'll likely be in right. as a consequence of this event. We'll take one right after yeah, this. Yeah, right, so. right. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah. Selfie on the way. Yeah, so uh, on the social platforms, the Nomad Futurist is the handle, and nomadfuturist.org uh, is the, the foundation's website, and that's where they connect. And uh, nomadfuturist.com is sort of like our social platform, yeah. which is going to consolidate any write-ups, any briefs, industry news, and just general information. And we want we want anyone and everyone to get involved. We need as much assistance, like creating content that can be leveraged um, to 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 get on to our academy. Um, and you know, any way, any way, anyone can help. We're uh, we'd love to work with you. Yeah, and just to add one more thing to what Phil said and what we've been talking about our hair. So our approach is slightly different. So it's not just about theories; it's about 
practicality, right? So uh, we're not just going to be teaching theoretical uh, data. We're going to be teaching what's really happening in the field. Um, yeah. That's a little bit different, typically. I mean, right. um, and, and bringing forth people with a very diverse background. So different colors, religions, beliefs, areas around the world. And really perspectives, you know, it's about those lived experiences yeah. that then will impact what solutions the companies that come to these conferences develop that are relevant to you know different uh communities around the world so there's there's no shortage i don't want to get too overarching but you know we're kind yeah. of saving the world kind of saving I'm the kind world, of saving the world. <laughs> no big deal no, okay. saving the world over here <laughs> one day yeah. at a time yeah. <laughs> one day at a time all right well thank you so much it's uh it's great this is our you're our zit for it. PTC 2024 um so but thank you for joining us no, thank you for having us thanks for having us thank you for your partnership pleasure. yeah that, that's a wrap you. i get to say that's a wrap yeah, i've always wanted say to say that's that a that's a wrap we can say it together uh thank you to our viewers for tuning in to jsa tv today and as we said that's, that's a wrap, a wrap. <laughs> till next time